Idea Dream Home Season 5. Home is not just a home, it is a place where you spend most of your time. So it has to be according to your choice and interest. So once again, I welcome you all to Idea Dream Home Season 5. Coming to our judges, Anna Kurvila, an eminent architect and interior designer from Kochi. Arun Vidya Sagar, again, he is an architect from Kochi. And our house for the day is Thurathe Parambil House, Mala Paramba, Kori Kode. And to the clippings. Hello everybody, welcome to Idea Dream Home Season 5. Today we have come all the way to the beautiful city of Calicut. I am standing at Mr. Ablas residence, Thurathe Parambil House in Malpuram, Calicut. Now this is a 3650 square foot single floored house. Now to check out the details, let's go in. Now to talk about the landscape of this house, it has a very peaceful and serene touch attached to it. You can see the lawn over here, very nicely done. They have a couple of stones in between that serve as a walkway and the trees that you can see, beautiful trees, right? They go around the house. You'll see a lot of stone cladding down all the walls. Be that be here on my left, you can see, you know, stone cladding walls. Looks pretty pretty uh, with the rooftop. Traditional dark grey rooftop tiles have been used. One more thing that needs to be mentioned in the exteriors is the windows. Teak wood windows, you know, teak wood, nicely coloured windows. Looks very beautiful and pretty. It goes throughout the house. A nicely spacious and elevated car parking leads us to the entrance. Now walking on imported Italian marble over here. The thing to notice is a rooftop. Nilambur teak wood panel uh, covers the entire interior roofing of the house. So let's go in and check out the other details. over here the roofing like I told you Nilambur uh, teak wood has been reused the flooring goes with Italian marble now the other things to notice is a nice comfortable sofas back of me is a designer textured wall they have done then here you have the wooden cabinets lighting if I talk about very nicely done well lit room LED lights have been used there's also this nice looking um, designer fan A simple yet attractive wooden console over here. This is a partition between the drawing room and the walkway. Now adjacent to this room we have the little office space attached to the master and guest bedroom. Um, this walkway leads us to the dining area. Now behind me you can see a little courtyard space. To find more about that, let's go in to the dining area. A nice comfortable guest room, spacious and good enough. Headboard has been done through stone cladding, um, comfortable beds are here. The right side if you see the window space that gives a clear visual. Now wooden flooring has been used in this house. On my right side you have this wooden cabinets kept you know stack up your clothes and everything. On my left side you have the wooden wardrobe, built in wardrobes is also attached with a bathroom. Now to talk about the details of this master bedroom, I have a lot of things to mention. First of all, the natural stonework on the headboard, uh, which looks very pretty. The same work has been done over the pillar over there. This window gives you a clear visual of the lawns outside. 
to talk about the lighting of this room you can see the lamps over there up um, a designer lamp over there and the lights up um, this gives you a pretty look of the bedroom wooden flooring has been used in all the bedrooms Yeah, adding to the glamour cushion of the house. In front of me is the strong teak wood frame uh, dining table which is teamed up with the designer chairs. A uh, lot of woodwork you will see over here in this room. Wooden cabinets that you can you know store the glasses and everything. Opposite to me is a big LED screen TV. Right side uh, you get a clear visual of the courtyard outside. Beautifully done. Then I am sitting on this chair which has a wooden slab. I believe uh, this is for grabbing a quick bite out of the kitchen. The design of the kitchen has been kept plain and simple. Notable things being the granite flooring has been used in the entire kitchen. Uh, granite slabs, they have cabinets to store the utensils and everything. And they have a chimney and the electronic things that are required inside the kitchen. Now that walkway leads us to the outhouse. Uh, this small outhouse over there. So that's all about the details of the kitchen. And that is Thirute Parambil House, Malaya Paramba, It is a 3,650 square feet single story house. And now let's hear the judgment. And to our judges, Arun, for the exterior. Uh, it's a very pleasing house. Uh, not, not much of frills. Uh, very simply done. The porch becomes the center part of the whole house okay. in the front. It's got enough frontage. The, Form is uh, slow proof mm -hmm. and the color is grey, the roof color is grey. Uh, it's a single story house and it really feels down to the earth. Though it has slightly tall rooms, from the external facade when you look at it, you find taller rooms. We can see a lot of wood uh, being used for the doors, uh, teak wood and uh, that's about it. It looks really nice from the first Okay. Time. What do you think Anna? Uh, I think they've kept the na landscaping very natural, um, minimal plants, um, and that complements with the house very well. Uh, what one suggestion I have is if they had kept the windows full length, they've used uh, wood to cover part of the window. If they had bigger windows, yeah. they've got such a beautiful landscape, they could have enjoyed more of the outdoor from inside. Uh, and uh, the paving tiles, the roof tiles, the cladding, Everything has a connection. There is some, uh, there is a difference in texture. There's na they've used natural stones uh, for the paving, and uh, so uh, there is a connection, and it complements very well with the landscape. And w another thing they've missed out is uh, they've kept the ACs outdoor units facing the front. Oh. That's actually ruining the okay. elevation of the house. They could have uh, planned and kept it somewhere hidden. And uh, we noticed there is a small sit-out uh, area uh, and behind that there is an external courtyard which is very nice. It's not like you're sitting facing the car porch only. There's a small garden behind that sit-out. That's okay. done very well. So on the whole, I, I really like the simple and nice, uh, it's a very good elevation. Now moving on to the interior. Uh, as soon as we enter into the porch, we get to see the ceiling on the, uh, the wooden ceiling. Uh, which is actually continuing throughout the house. It is given a continuity character right from the sit out onwards. Okay. And uh, the same thing is continued throughout the interior. The spaces are really well defined. Uh, sitting areas are very clearly defined. 
the colors are uh, very subtle and uh, uh, pleasing when, when comparing to each other and they have a relate between the rooms and it relates to the exteriors that is the uh, important thing which, which we should note here the kitchen is also uh, uh, well kept uh, on a side the courtyard ambience is also felt into the interiors so i think the spatially it's well planned okay and i do agree with him or a uh, one thing i must say is the wooden ceiling it's very rich very classy and very tasteful also and they've tried to uh, make it look good by uh, you know directing light onto it mm -hmm. that's a that's a very good point i noted here and uh, i also noticed a partition between living and the passage so they've done it in such a way that uh, they are not blocking the light or the air mm -hmm. but still there is a partition that is very good and uh, in the living room you see a lot of textures there is this wooden paneling which is like three dimensional and there is a textural wall which is of the same color but if you notice it's not of the same uh, smoothness there is some sort of play of texture there and uh, the flooring they've gone for italian marble and they've given wooden skirting for it okay. so that flooring is also um, enhanced because of that contrast of that wood and uh, italian marble and they've got very simple furniture which are right of the right scale the sofas don't have hand rests or something again giving it a very clean and open feeling uh, not at all disturbing like uh, then they you see there's an office space in between two bedrooms so that means that's a common place to keep your computer and things in both bedrooms uh, okay. both the people using the bedrooms can use that uh, computer and that office space that's a good planning uh, point the dining room could have had a little less of wood i felt there was a little too much of wood there uh, i like the kitchen they've tried uh, small glass mosaics as a backsplash which is different and interesting uh, i like the pass through to kitchen uh, from the dining room and avadeem avare details koduttundo kunni light there is something below that counter so on the whole um, they've paid attention and it's come out well okay and uh, what about the kitchen kitchen i i couldn't help noticing the old kind of stove okay. um, if they can uh, replace it by something okay. little more modern it would have been nice uh, i love the wall of the kitchen so it's a simple uh, clutter free kitchen it's okay. good mm. and I, i would say the same except mm. for the uh, stove on the counter mm. and the chimney which stands out like anything mm. yeah. means there is nothing to uh, support it. the oh. whole thing mm. uh, throughout and the connect is lost between the uh, other shelves on the uh, on the wall uh, but otherwise i think it's a pretty mm. decent kitchen with enough space <laughs>
uh, very uh, sharp looking factors mm -hmm. on the negative side except for the AC units which she pointed out and the uh, windows on the other side. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you look from one side these things don't matter because it doesn't come into the view. Only when you travel to the other side you find all this. But apart from that the general ambience exterior is very good. Same ha happens with the interior. And they have taken good care of the interiors actually. So you don't find any negative spaces, you don't have any dark spaces. Mm -hmm. Uh, furnishing is done uh, uh, as required and not overly done anywhere and the uh, general lighting is good I, I, and I think the feel is generally good all over the place. Mm -hmm. Anna, what do you think? Even I feel it's a very comfortable house, it's a very inviting house like something like you feel like going and staying. Um, so I think the designer and the house owners have done a very good job on this house. Let's see what our judges has to say about Surati Paramil House School Girl. Arun, your marks on exterior, landscape, form and character. The exteriors are pretty decent, uh, it's well proportioned uh, and they've used the height to a good extent and uh, though it's a uh, single story, it doesn't give that exact look of a single story uh, and it doesn't go into the two story house and they've uh, positioned the carports well, the setting is nice, they've used uh, external uh, paving with the granite, that's a different thing. And landscape is minimal, though it's minimal, it looks pretty decent and I would give uh, 22 on, upon uh, 25. Did you just really good mark, I I think it's a well balanced elevation with just right amount of landscape and uh, I would say it's it's a perfect balance and I would give 21 out of 25 for that. Again a good mark and coming to the interior. Uh, interiors are, uh, are really done well, uh, you can't say uh, anything bad about it except very minute uh, uh, excess use of wood in some spaces but otherwise it's generally good. Uh, I would give it 22 and 25 for that. Anna? They have used uh, expensive materials mm -hmm. but in the right way and in right amounts. So uh, I have given 23 and 25 for the interiors. Again, good marks. Coming to the decor and lighting. Uh, again, it's uh, very comparable to the uh, interior. Uh, in the sense, the interiors actually enhance the overall decor. Uh, the choice of materials are good, the fabrics are good. Uh, the color of wood use is good, lighting is good, uh, the space is actually uh, very livable and I would give 22 for that. Anna? Uh, they've uh, kept the theme flowing from the sit out to the kitchen. So the wood color was same and uh, the lighting was good, the daylight was good, uh, there was enough daylight inside the house. So I would give it 21 on 25. Okay. Huh. Now coming to the overall ambience. Uh, comparing uh, or uh, rather weighing both interior and exterior together, uh, the good points interior carries forward uh, is slightly overweighed with the uh, problems in the facade which we suggest like uh, a slight mismatch of the uh, window sizes and uh, a bit of wood covering in the front uh, windows which block the light and then uh, the AC units in the exterior. So kind of balancing it I would give 20 upon 25 for that. Okay. What about you Anna? Overall, uh, I would give it 21 on 25. Through the Parambil House, Kori Code gets 86 from Arun and 86 from Anna. And that makes 172 out of 200. That was really beautiful house designed in a tropical style. We'll be back with more beautiful houses in our next episode.